Life Simmer, and welcome back to part 18 of The Sims 3 Generations LP Season 2. So, you guys are probably looking at the screen like, who are these new Sims? They're not new Sims, everybody. There are kids aged up. That is right, yeah. So, off camera, everybody aged up. They actually aged up twice, believe it or not. They glitched out and aged up twice so I had to like age everybody back it was just so weird um but everybody except Zane and Tinkerbell actually aged up so first we'll start off with Penelope um she is now an adult gorgeous as always um she's not a young adult anymore because Kendra is an adult so I aged her up um but here she is gorgeous here is actually her formal attire um because she is um insane She's always wearing these crazy outfits, so I thought, you know what, her formal attire will be not so formal, and it's super pretty and a cranberry color, and I just, I love it. Gorgeous. Love her. I just, I do. Um, so yeah, moving on to Kendra. She's actually laying in bed right now. Uh, here's her new bedroom. It's pretty much the same thing, just a double bed. I think she's an adult now, and that's what she deserves. Um, and so here she is. It looks like she has a lazy eye, or not so much a lazy eye, but two different shaped eyes. <laughs> Let me take a picture of that. She's like in mid-wink or something. Um, so here she is, a natural beauty, you know. Not really any makeup. Uh, she looks a little messed up right now. There we go, fix your face, good girl. Natural beauty, gorgeous as always, and um... She's in her bikini right now, so yeah, beautiful. Um, and then we have Isaac, who is right here. Uh, he aged up into the handsome boy we all thought he would be. Um, the hat is back! That is right. He is rocking a little hattie, and it's super cute. It almost looks like a potato sack over his head, but I think it's cute. Um, so yeah. And he's just wearing this nice little sweater and jeans and some Converse. He's right here with Aiden, who looks like a devil child. <laughs> but he's so cute. He definitely looks like his dad. He has his dad's eyes. Um, but he has his grandfather's hair color, just like the rest of the kids, excluding Lindy. So adorable. Look at him. He's, he's so flipping cute. <laughs> there he goes. He's smiling now. That looks a little creepy, too. It's still cute. Um, so then if we go right here, here's Miss Lindy in her pajamas. Um, gorgeous. Can we freaking say how cute she is? She looks like the Fenderson girls. Like her sister and her mom and her aunt and her grandmother. It's crazy. I'm really curious to know how little... What's her name again? What's her name? Oh, this is awkward. Ooh, this is awkward. Uh oh, where, where is he? Where's Jay? <laughs> Jay disappeared. Um, Carrie, Carrie, hello, Carrie. I want to know if she's gonna look like a Fenderson or if she's gonna look like Tori Dunbar. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so here she is, gorgeous blondie, and love her. Um, now I have to show you guys actually the bedrooms. I did do a little bit of remodeling. Um, you know, in Kendra's room, but, you know, Isaac and Lindy got brand new rooms. Uh, so over here is my boy Isaac's room. Um, so for his room, I went with this comic book. You guys know I love the blue and orange combination. I actually use it way too often. Um, but it's just, I love the combination Hello. of the colors. He is going to be my comic book boy, my little bookworm. Um, you know, I feel like the stereotype of what boys are supposed to be. Oh, you're supposed to be a jock, you know? I am, like, I'm, like, so not cool with that. Um, personally, if I was a boy, I would probably be Isaac with the comic books and video games and all of that and, like, books and everything. Of course, I would, you know, try to get some hot babes or something, but that's just me. That's how I am. Um, but, yeah, I just want you guys to know that, you know, comic books and video games and stuff, they're cool. You don't have to be a jock. I would like you if you if you watched anime and read comic books. I think you're cool. Um, so, 
yeah, I went ahead and gave him that. So he has like a little comic book room. I uh, love the color scheme, as you guys know. So he has his comic figurines and his comic books on display and his little poster cutout thingy, whatever these are called. Um, so yeah, I, I love it. I do. I do. Um, so yeah, and now if we head over to Lindy's room, I actually need your guys' advice, or actually, I guess your opinion. Um, so, we could go with two different room themes, because as you can clearly tell, her room has practically nothing in it. Um, but, I was wondering, do you guys want to go with a girly theme, like this side of the room? You know, she has this dainty little tea kettle with a nice little lampshade and some really awesome, you know, uh, picture frames and some shoes and everything. Or do you guys want to go ahead and do this theme right here? You guys are probably looking at this poster and saying, well, what's that supposed to be? What theme would that be? It would be a very um, eccentric room, bright colors. Very fun. Purples, yellows, pinks, uh, along with um, probably bookshelves and Disney posters. And um, pretty much she would be a, a movie collector. She would be really involved with movies. She would love watching them, particularly Disney movies. Um, so you would definitely catch, you know, Lindy watching a lot of TV. A lot of TV. I'm probably going to the cinema a lot um, and stuff like that. So just let me know which one you guys want her to go with. I actually want Lindy to uh, get involved with the photography skill. So photography and film, I think, you know, are they go hand in hand. And I feel like they would make a really awesome duo for her. Uh, so either way, she's going to go watch movies. She's going to, you know, study the photography skill. So just let me know which room you guys would like to go with. I can do the, you know, pups of colors and purples and yellows and pinks. Or we can go with the pastels and all of that. It's whatever you guys want. You guys know my sims just as well as I do. So completely up to you guys. Um, and her room is not fully painted yet. No, it will be fully painted once we, you know, pick our themes. So I will be reading your guys' comments as I usually do. Um, so she's going to go ahead and head to sleep. Everybody's going to head to bed, actually. We're going to go ahead and put Aiden to bed and put Isaac to bed. Also, I have my microphone actually at a different angle. Um, instead of it being directly in front of me, it's actually a little bit farther away from me. It's behind my keyboard. Oh, he, he can't he can't sleep in his bed. No, but I thought that was so cute. They kind of looked like his bed paneling. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That was so cute, Isaac, and you know it. Can you go to sleep now? Boy, you're going to make me mad. Alrighty, so he's in bed now, and apparently under his hat, he has, like, a mohawk, or whatever this would be. I, you know what? I kind of like it, so I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. But I'm kind of mad that his little, his little comic book holder thingies can't connect to his bed. I'm actually kind of upset. But like I was saying, I have my microphone at a different angle, actually, right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is random. Um, so let me know also in the comments down below if you like it better this way or the other way because I know you guys might hear my keyboard more or something. Just let me know, you know, in the comments oh, down below. Alrighty, so it is now morning time. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do today because for some reason, uh, Lindy and Isaac actually have the day off. I don't know why they have it off, but I'm okay with it. Uh, we're going to head to the water park. It's summertime. You know, why not? Oh, it's graduation day, actually. <gasps> oh, my girl, my, my baby Kendra. Okay, girl, what is you wearing? I hate that my Sims do this. I did not pick this out. Gross. Change. Change yourself right now. Change into your everyday wear. Never do that again. Seriously. I will have to end you. But one thing our house really needs is actually a really good cleaning. Um, as most of you guys know, 
This house gets dirty so fast. I like how they're having a conversation while Isaac is in bed. Um, but yeah, this house gets dirty so fast because, you know, all of the kids and Zane who does what he wants and then just leaves it. And then Penelope who, you know, is crazy. Um, so it just gets dirty really, really fast. So we're going to do a deep clean hopefully today. Um, I'm thinking Zane... Or, yeah, because Zane goes to work all day. So I'm going to have Penelope stay home, do a lot of cleaning, while Zane maybe takes the kids to the water park, including baby Aiden. I uh, today. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him with his eyes open. That is creepy. Stop. Um. Okay. So the kids are just going to do their thing this morning. Um, but oh yeah, I forgot it's Kendra's graduation day. This is awkward. I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, speaking of which, what do you guys want to do with uh, Kendra's life? Like I said, you guys know my sins just as well as I do. So what would you like to do with Miss Kendra? Look, she's like, you know what? It's graduation day. I'm an adult now. I'm going to get a little juiced. She cracks me up. She's like, let me pour myself some juice. Oh, just kidding. Somebody's calling. <laughs> Who is it? We'll never know. We will never know. Andrea is actually still a teenager. So this is like a Tori Dunbar J love story. Is it not? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and send him a friendly text message. Uh, just letting him know that we can't wait for him to age up so we can... Uh, you know, he was our boyfriend for like a part. That's kind of a big deal. Um, but let's see, Miss Lindy, what can you do? Oh, her and Carrie are best friends. We're gonna invite her not out, but we're gonna invite her over. Actually, invite the whole household over. Yeah, invite them all over. See if they want to come over for a little bit. Uh, I guess only Jay. <laughs> sure, we'll be over soon. Awesome. Uh, Kendra is required. Oh, great. As we invite everybody, everybody's leaving. What are my Sims wearing? Why do they do this? Like, I picked out the cutest formal attire for my Sims, and then they put sh this on. Like, she's even like, what am I wearing? I just revamped all their outfits, and he's wearing this. Why? My Sims actually have the cutest clothes, and they put this on. Like, I'm not okay with it. But if you guys want to go to graduation looking fugly, do so. Do so. Because no matter what, these pictures will be taken. That's that's pretty much what Kendra is saying right now. She's like yelling at them. She is me. Um, she's like, just kidding. You guys can do what you want. Do what you want. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we're going to graduation. So the point of Carrie and Jay coming over is actually useless. Why is he wearing a cap and gown? Why is he wearing a cap and gown? Okay, well, Carrie didn't even come. So, whatever. <laughs> I think the kids got the day off, actually, because it's her graduation. I could be wrong, but uh, she needs to start heading to City Hall. I wish Jay could come along. Um, but yeah, so everybody's going to go ahead and head there. I wonder what car they're going to take. Who's going to drive? Who's going to drive? Oh, Penelope. No, Zane? I don't know. Who's driving? Zane is. Alrighty. Well, looks like everybody's heading to her graduation now in their fugly get-ups. Nothing new here in the Fenderson Santiago household. We all love to dress ugly. <laughs> it's okay. I love them. But like I said, pictures will be taken whether you like it or not. Apparently, Isaac, or not Isaac, Aiden doesn't like it too bad. Um, so yeah, they're all gonna go ahead and head inside now. I'm actually happy because unlike Justine, Penelope's actually attending her daughter's graduation. This is a big deal. <laughs> so here she goes. Here goes Miss Kendra going to graduate. Very excited. Alrighty, the whole family's getting up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aiden's not in a good mood. Alrighty. So, here we go. Here goes her ceremony. 
Alrighty, so here she is coming out of graduation. Let's go ahead and watch her, shall we? Oh, look at her. Hold on, gotta get pictures. Sorry to the two in the back. You will be in this. Alrighty, so we're actually gonna go ahead and give Miss Kendra a graduation gift. And because we don't really have anything too awesome on us, we are actually going to give her some homemade blueberry jam. She lives in the same household, so there's really no point in giving her a gift. But we're going to give her a little something something, you know, to make her happy. So it says, congratulations, Kendra has graduated from Brittle Brush Academy with honor. Her classmates have voted her the most likely to hack the military facility, which I mean, it kind of makes sense. She is, you know, a computer whiz. Mm -hmm. So the future is bright for this young graduate. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's awesome. I'm so proud of her. I try not to accept presents from people I don't know too well, but but I like it. Um, this is your mother. You know her pretty well. Um, yes, you need to improve your relationship, clearly, but she's your mother. So, she's going to complain about the baby, which is actually her baby. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about computers a little bit and uh, whine about our life. But we're, what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually have everybody change into their everyday wear. <laughs> Um, and I'm thinking we are going to go ahead and actually head out to the bistro for a nice dinner. Um, you know, with everything going the way it is. Um, actually, we're going to visit the Fenderson household with everybody. Um, yeah. Um, and then we're going to see if maybe uh, Luna wants to go to the bistro with us. Um, if she's down to do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and have everybody head over to the Fendersons. Um, and unfortunately, I guess we'll have to do the water park sometime this weekend. Um, when does Penelope go back to work? Oh, tomorrow. Great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can't wait. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Oh, true. So, we travel here and nobody's home. Look at the whole family here. And Luna leaves. Out of everybody, Luna would leave. Um, so, I guess we will head over here. And just go to the bistro. We tried, Luna. We tried. <laughs> I like how she like... Okay, true. Well, I guess everybody... Oh, did she just get home? No, who are you? Why are you following us? Cornelius Van Dien. Go away, Cornelius. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, everybody's gonna head to the bistro, get a little din-din, and some dessert, and kind of just, you know, celebrate. It's usually what people do, right? Right. Uh, so yeah, I will see you all, um, probably back Alrighty, at home. everybody, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nothing too crazy happened in this part, other than everybody aged up practically, and Kendra graduated. Uh, so in the comments down below, please let me know about the microphone, also about, um, Lindy's bedroom. Which theme do you guys want to see? Um, and that's about it. Uh, sorry if my voice is crazy in this part. I have a really sore throat and I try to keep it, you know, motivating and not motivating, but I don't know. <laughs> not raspy and gross. I tried. Uh, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.